Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. We have another honey-do list video for you today, but it's really not something that uh, my wife said, you know, I want to get this done. It's a repair. And um, we have these appliances in the house. We built the house about 16 years ago, and things are starting to break. And just as you fix something, something else starts to break. So we noticed that last week we filled a, a, a little cooler bag up, with ice and it never really the ice maker in this frigid air refrigerator never really um, recovered and we weren't sure because uh, the two boys were working every day and they were taking like a little cool bag with them so we weren't sure if we were just using more ice um, but this ice maker and this refrigerator has gotten a lot of use and abuse with uh, a family of six over the years especially with the boys, they're always in and out of it, um, and we just, you know, we always have a lot of people over the house, it's always full, and the refrigerator is always full. So, we let it go a couple days, and definitely realized that the ice machine wasn't making as much ice as it should. The bull bug. Uh, the dogs always have to do something as soon as I turn the camera on. Anyway, um... So I took this, uh, this cover off on the ice maker um, just to see what's behind it. And really, it was just two gears, and I'll show you that. And I kept opening and shutting, opening and shutting until I could see those gears actually turning, which is, I think they work like a timer, where it, you know it, the ice gets frozen or whatever, and then you see the gears turn, and it dumps the ice. So I kind of like forced them to start turning again, and all of a sudden, you saw them to very slowly, they were turning almost like a clock, and I watched it dump nothing, because there was no water in there. So I thought maybe I had a water flow problem. But it dumped nothing, and then it went back. And when it started to fill, I saw water leaking out of the bottom of the ice tray where the ice cubes are supposed to be forming. So I realized that we, we had a little bit of a leak there, but we hadn't noticed any water leaking out of the freezer or anything. And then when I told my wife about that, she goes, you know, I did notice like a clump of ice stuck in the bottom when you tried to get ice out through the uh, through the cup, you know, the cube dispenser, they, nothing was coming out, but she heard ice in there, and when she looked in, there was like a, a big clump of ice that was blocking everything. That's probably from that water leaking and then freezing up in the freezer. So, I ordered a new ice maker, it was about 90 bucks. Um, I got it from partsdoctor.com, which seems to be like a, a, a real good resource for at least finding the part number. They have a you put the serial number of the appliance you're working on in, and it gives you a whole parts list. You get the part, they give you a SKU, they give you a manufacturer number, they give you a whole bunch of information. And if you want to buy it from them, you buy it from them. Their prices are pretty reasonable, so is their shipping, and you get it right away. Or you can Google away. I'll put links to everything in the description below. So we got this ice maker in. Um, it's a Frigidaire refrigerator, which is made by Electrolux. All the appliances that we, we put in this kitchen were, frig were the Frigidaire Gallery Series. Um, at the time, it was supposed to be pretty good. I, I don't know, we had to replace one part on the range so far. We had to replace the dishwasher completely already. Um, the microwave, knock wood, let me knock something. The microwave is still working fine. And the refrigerator, this is our... Uh, second or third issue. Well, actually, we got another video coming up soon with the refrigerator as well. But the uh, in the box is the ice machine, um, this front cover. Let's see if I can I'll pop it off just to show you what it looks like if I could get it off. There we go. So the front cover has, these are the two gears I was talking about. And then it's got some kind of adjustment in here that's got a plus and a minus, and that might, might be how much time elapses for the ice to, to, for it to make ice. I don't know, plus or minus, there's no directions in there, so I'm going to have to look that up. Um, nothing on here says anything about that, and hopefully this is the right plug. Um, now it's supposed to just bracket in. The water actually isn't piped, the water runs down a little, like a funnel and drips into this part right here. So you don't, there's no plumbing involved in it because the water's just gonna run down a funnel into here and fill the, the two trays up. Or actually, it's one tray. It's one big tray in the bottom. Makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes. 
and uh, and we'll see if uh, if that does it. You should just be able to plug the uh, plug in. Let me move the camera, and we'll, and we'll see what we got. I got a little nut driver with some sockets because I think it's just a quarter inch. Look like about a quarter inch nut, or a uh, or maybe a screwdriver tip, but we'll uh, we'll see. All right, so I am going to take the ice tray out, and it's actually got a lot more ice in it. Actually, got a lot, a lot more ice in it than, than was in it previously. So this thing seems to be working again, which I don't understand how there was water leaking out of the bottom, and now the thing's working. Um, so we got there's a little bracket, there's a nut on the bottom, and that thing mounts in. So there's the little plug. plug is right up there so I'm going to turn it off which is that up right I got a little quarter inch socket on a nut driver <clears throat> that is in there really tight that bracket's not even connected to the Side of the refrigerator, so that bracket doesn't have to come off. I wonder if it's just a slip fit. Oh, looks like there's two nuts in the. Ah, there's two nuts in the ice maker. I'll show you when I get it out. Alright, so two nuts, just got to give them a little loosen, and it should lift up once they're loose enough. getting the old one out you can see in there there's two uh, they're like sheet metal screws they're quarter inch uh, screws and this part uh, fits right in so you just gotta loosen them and it sort of hangs on them and then you tighten them back up the bracket on the bottom does there is no bottom bracket um, on the old one there was some kind of bottom bracket that one isn't on there and then you have the the plug end here um, this adjustment here looks exactly the same on the old one, so we're gonna, I'm going to guess that that's just the factory setting. I'm going to leave it with the factory setting because it, it worked fine. But what's funny is it seems like there's a decent amount of ice in the bottom without a big chunk. Um, I don't know if it's just real slow, if it was leaking, and it stopped, I, don't, I don't know. But we ordered it, we're going to put it in. That thing should have been full because we haven't used it, uh, really used it, a lot of it, and you don't hear it dumping as frequently. It seemed to be just, you know, very, other than the leak that I noticed, well, my wife noticed the block of ice, it seemed to be very slow working. So we're going to plug this in and pretty much you just slide it in, you plug the harness in, this little uh, plastic thing covers the uh, connection and uh, tighten the screws down and then turn it back on. This is off, this is on, so we're going to try to leave it in that position until we get it all set up. Alright, so I just hung it on those two sheet metal screws, not the bunch of my wife's frozen cauliflower out of the freezer. And I'm just going to snug those screws up. Alright, I just snug them up. And that's off. That's on. I don't know if the refrigerator knows that there's a new one in or not. Um, I don't hear the water running. Um, I hope that the water running isn't our issue. There's no leak or anything, but I'm hoping that it's not a water flow. There is a uh, some kind of valve, solenoid valve for the water to feed into the ice machine. So we're hoping that's not an issue um, because then 
then putting this part in was a was a waste of time. But we'll see. It's a real easy repair. So if your your ice maker is is malfunctioning and you wanted to get one, like I said, about ninety bucks, and it seems to be an easy fix. Cap back on. It's the cover. Put our ice tray back in. That's it. All right. So hopefully in an hour or so I'll hear it on ice and I'll be happy. Um, hopefully it fills that thing up by the morning and the repair is done. We'll wait to see what it looks like in the morning and, and I'll show you. And maybe while I'm having coffee there'll be a full thing of ice in there. That'd be great. And it'll work. Okay, so it's been about a day since we fixed it, and I'm checking the uh, the ice, and every time I pass by the refrigerator, I actually stuck my hand in there to see if there was uh, either water or partially frozen ice cubes or frozen ice cubes in the tray, and there was. So that was an improvement over the last uh, time before we made the repair, so I, I don't think it's the, the water valve that I was talking about. I think it was actually the ice maker itself, because every time we pass by, it was making ice, and now... You know, a day and a half later, we got a full tub of ice. Uh, the ice machine's always making ice, so there's always ice being made. So I guess that was our problem. Um, the other one I was going to save just in case it wasn't our problem, but I had it outside, leaned up against the barbecue grill to dry, and it fell over and cracked in half, and so that's garbage anyway. But that's a, it was an easy repair. I'll put all the links in the description below for the parts that we used on this Frigidaire refrigerator. Really easy. We fixed it, and now we get to have a constant supply of ice again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.